Hey what's up guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to do a water change, basic things you need, siphon, water container, fish tank, and spare water. Hey guys, um, also when, when uh, using your spare water, I would definitely recommend mixing your own salt. I use this salt, it's called Red Sea Coral Pro Salt, here's what you get at the salinity 33 so that's the salinity 33 see it has like a little chart here like let's say your salinity is uh... 33 that's for soft and LPS corals I use salinity at 35 so then um... basically you just uh... buy some RO water get a pump in a bucket just like this so I don't know if you can see the pump but there's a pump all the way down there and you get that and then basically you take your RO water just go to go to like an Albertsons or whatever and get a scale it's a kitchen scale be sure it measures grams It'll come with a little cup. And uh, so what you do, you just calculate um, how many liters in a gallon. It's like 3.78541178, I think. Pretty sure that's how many liters are in a gallon. And then uh, you just figure out how many grams per liter and however many uh, gallons you want to do. So, like, they give you options. So for this one, like, fish, non-corals, you put... 33.4 grams per liter and then for a soft and LPS you put um, 36 grams per liter and for SPS and clams you put 38.2 grams per liter so you go let's say you're making five gallons of salt water get your five gallons of RO take it and then you uh you put it in the calculator, so it's like per, uh, gallons per liter. So you put 3.785 or 4.1178 times 5, because that's how many gallons you have. And the 3 point whatever is how many liters are in a gallon. And then um, you do that, and so it'll come out to be like 18, I think. And then um, 18 point something, I don't know, it's not exactly 18. Then you multiply that by 38.2 grams. Well, that's only if you use this salt, but yeah. This is a salt I recommend. It's really good. So then you, uh, um, what was I saying? You multiply that, so then it comes out to be about 723 grams for five gallons of this salt. Don't, don't, just measure it with the salt you get. Don't, trust me on all salts are this exact formula. And then you weigh it, like you take this. Scoop the salt, you got it in here, put it down, weigh it. I usually go till it's like around like 400 right there. And then uh, I put it in a little plastic bag right here. I put it in a plastic bag and I put that over there. And so I'm trying to get to 723 so then I measure another 323. So that's about right, right around there somewhere. It's like that second line after 300, like right in there. And then uh, you pour that into the bag and then you take your bag, which would be full of salt. Walk it over to your bucket. Pour it in and then you turn on your pump and then tomorrow morning your salt will be ready. Uh, the next step is basically just taking that salt that you made, emptying out the old water, change your water once a week. Um, I do 10 to 15 percent, a lot of people just do 5. Put it in this, then you can either dump it out or use it for whatever you want. I'm going to use a gallon to use uh, coral, coral, 
RX for these zoanthids in there. They have neuter branches on them, so I'm going to kill those. So you just basically empty that out, get your new water, pour it in the tank. So that's how you do a water change, guys. Thanks. Peace.